Why hello there, this is Cosmic Galaxy's Rapid Rhythm introducing another Losers Bracket match between Elika King and Pisses Fan. I am here joined by... What's up everybody, I'm Scourge Blade. And we got Toon Link, Pistons, Pistons fan using Toon Link, one of one of his uh, it, one of his uh band characters from by uh, Lotus. So we got that. Band characters from Lotus. Explain what this means to me. Basically, An uninitiated scourge. <laughs> basically, uh, when. Lotus and Pisses fans are like best friends, so they, they they play a lot. And there are quite a few characters that Pistons uses that pisses off Lotus to no end, and he and he banned three of these three of the characters that pisses him off the most, and this is one of them. It is Toon Link, because it's as you can see right now, it's super campy. But it's it, definitely it, a frustration. But it, it doesn't show off as... It's not really showing as cleanly here because it's basically camp against camp. See, I, I say I that as he that got back here and he died. To, I would think that it would be easy to camp out DD as someone with a projectile scourge because you have projectiles of your own and you have so many options that you can deflect Gordo back. Oh. But we're seeing demonstrated by Elika King that that's yes, just not of as simple. But Elekid King is just a defensive player overall. He if, even if he has a is at a disadvantage, he's gonna find a way to keep throwing those Gordos at you anyway, and it just works no matter what you try to do. He he's, does a very he, good job forcing the approach. I would agree. Yeah, he somehow and he he somehow finds a way around it, just every time. He he always says that a. Uh, DDD isn't even viable, and he's and he sucks. But and he's and he, he's a bad player. But I'm, but I'm like, dude, do you, <laughs> stop being so modest. You're you're much better than you think you are. And wow, that disrespect attempt. Well, Scourge, at least he's honest about DDD being unviable. Well, yeah. <laughs> He's, Ironically, I, as we say that, E2 sucks piss and span. Game one, <laughs> on one yeah. of his most frustrating characters. Just because it's frustrating exactly. for Lotus doesn't mean it's frustrating for Eren. That's what I say. And here we are at Omega Kalos Pokemon League? What? And we got the second of uh, Pistons' band characters, Villager. Or at least I think it is. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> Would you say he's trying to put in all the work he can with his most frustrating characters against Eren? Do you think that's a viable strategy, or is it just... Hmm. Well, you, well, you see, the reason these these guys are frustrating to Lotus in the first place is because they're so campy, and campy works very well against DDD, whether it, whether it, whether whether Eren knows how to deal with it or not. It's still a good it's still a good strategy that Eren that DDD as a character has has trouble with, and Aaron has to do a lot of work to get around. And we see that yeah. Pistons is taking advantage of that right now. And this oh, time it's working out for Pistons for sure. Yes, He's found very a lot much. More aggressive openings too, which helps as well. We're uh -huh. getting those extra punishes. Oh, he got him with the down smash though. Now I have another question, Scourge, but I don't know if you exactly have the answer to this. Would you say this is his? Piston's favorite Omega. He seems to favor this a lot when he plays in tournament. You know what? Now that you, now that I think about it, it might be, because he, because I remember picking this, him picking this uh, stage in against Melon in a, uh, I think it was Smash Masters two. Uh, and I remember it against Scarf too. And also oh. an AB. That's a four wow. smash. Very nice. valuable trade, actually. Yeah. I look at waking up the action there. These Gordos aren't really Ever working out for Aaron though. Pistons just keeps flinging him back, and he's taken a lot of unnecessary percentage. Ever up. since that early barrage that Pistons found, Aaron was able to answer quickly back and reverse the percents in his favor to get him to that opportunistic moment to take the stock, and he did just that. Yeah. Pistons doesn't have too much work to even this up, though, otherwise. Yeah. I'm noticing Eren dodging a lot of these forward smashes on reaction, really 
Smiley. Yeah, yeah, Aaron is starting to adapt. And I mean, he, it, I mean, his Gordo, he's not doing as much Gordo play as he used as he did at the start of the match. As, as, and as I said, oh, no, this oh, is a kill percent. It's and down you me. Come. Make me proud, Here Aaron. We go. Yeah. Oh, oh man. That is a very effective trap of having the Gordo on shield with a force smash waiting to break it. Aaron does so that a lot. So good every time you see it. Aaron does that a lot. He just traps you with a with a with a Gordo above you. You you shield it and then he and then he traps you with a forward smash. It's it, Aaron does it a lot and it's very devastating when it works. And Aaron is just able to go to town and do whatever he wants. And with that, Elegant King is able to establish dominance over Pistons fan to move on into Loser's Top 8. Congrats to him. Yes, and he's... also congratulations to Pistons fan a little bit. Yeah, he's, he's he... definitely stepped up since last tournament.